Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Today's episode, I'm gonna show you the best five bucks you could ever spend at your local hardware store. All right, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs, and I've got a huge smile on my face because where I am in the country at the moment, I'm allowed out to go into a retail shop. So the first thing I did was head on down to my local big box hardware store where they had a couple of items I've been desperate to get my hands on. And I figured I'd take the camera along and show you guys while I'm there because I spent $5.30, that's in Australian currency guys, so we're talking probably $3.50 US, and picked up a couple of little things that I think are gonna change your reefing game for absolutely spare change. So uh, let's jump into the footage of Bunnings and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, here we are at my local big box hardware store known as the Big Green Shed, or probably more officially as Bunnings Warehouse. We're here to pick up two items in particular, and the first one leads us to the gardening section. So you might be able to find it at other gardening stores. Ignore those clay pots. We actually want to find this aisle here, which has plastic pots. We're looking for a couple of filter sock replacements here. And uh, if we go to the 100 mil pots or four inch pots, these guys are gonna sit into that slot perfectly. So I found some clear ones here. They also have black. We're talking a huge 65 cents Australian each. Grab a couple of them and then we'll move on to find our next item, which I must admit this one was a complete spur of the uh, a spur of the moment idea and when I saw it for $4 I was pretty excited. I'll show you what this one's going to be used for a little bit later but uh, this is basically just a they call it a crystal clear storage container. It's basically just a little tub that I think you could put makeup in or maybe even sit in your fridge. It is food safe so um, I don't know I guess you could eat soup out of it if you wanted to but uh, let's move on back to these filter sock holders and you're going to see me uh, preparing these at home now. I'm just putting a few uh, really dodgy drill holes in the bottom just to get a little bit of extra flow. I'll speed the footage up here so you don't have to watch me uh, drill 20 holes in the bottom of a container. They do already have holes in the bottom and uh, I have actually, you can see I'm quite happy with my uh, handiwork here. I'll give you a little bit of a close up at how uh, poor that is because I did uh, shred the container a little bit in a couple of spots. I have got some uh, black ones that I haven't put additional holes in and um, I felt like it could just use a little bit of extra flow, hence the holes, but uh, it should work well either way. I've got some uh, filter mat here, which I already had at home. This huge roll here cost me $10. I'm sure you can find something cheaper, uh, some sort of uh, fleece or stuffing. I just cut it a bit bigger than the uh, size of the cup and shove it in there. If you can get some of it to stick through those holes you drilled, that's gonna hold it in place really, really well. Now, I'll take this into my frag tank and I'll show you how easily it slots in. I will just point out, you should remove those stickers off the cup while you're there. I'll just get this uh, little bacteria uh, filter line out of the way, pull the uh, filter socks out, which um, are kind of clean because <laughs> they haven't been in there that long. I have been testing these cups for a while, but uh, through the magic of uh, YouTube, we'll get to see the socks get removed and uh, the new drilled filter cups with uh, filter fleece going in there. You can see once you get a little bit of water on that uh, filter material, it will hold itself down pretty well, despite me doing it really awkwardly in the front of the frag tank in between a tripod leg or three, but uh, they sit down perfectly into the uh, Cade sumps and uh, look like anything you've seen uh, from uh, some manufacturers online that sell fairly expensive filter cups. And uh, yeah, these bad boys are 65 cents each. You can see with the thumbs up there, I'm quite happy with my handiwork. I'll give you a bit of a close up as to how they look. You can see they sit in those uh, filter sock holders perfectly. There's no lip sticking up over the edge. If there was, you could trim it back, but uh, they sit flush in there and all of that water is now going through that filter material, which is exactly what we want. This is a little flash forward to the uh, ones I had installed prior without the extra holes. These guys have been in there a week and you can see they've pulled out no shortage of detritus. So uh, I'm gonna claim that as a success. Pull those ones out and we can have a look at uh, how they come up. As you can see, they uh, hold quite a lot of detritus. Now, you would obviously just pull that fleece out and throw it away. You wouldn't throw the cups away. They're obviously reusable, but um, I think that'd be quite handy to hold other stuff like some sort of chemipure media or something like that. But uh, in a pinch, I think they work quite well. But uh, in my opinion, let's move on to the star of the show. And that is this crystal storage container. This hugely expensive $4 item is going to change your reef tank photography. If you're the type 
type of person that likes to take fit pictures or videos using your smartphone, you need to buy this $4 device. Now, obviously I'd still highly recommend you have a filter, but if you go to take a top-down shot, this is what you normally see. Enter our uh, $4 container, we're gonna sit that on the water and uh, drop our phone into it. And uh, hey, presto, you get yourself some pretty spectacular footage. Now, like I said, you will wanna either get yourself a, a filter or adjust your lighting to suit, and um, you can probably fiddle about with the settings a little bit on your smartphone, but uh, what a beautiful image that gives. And um, this is a fairly basic filter. I don't even use one of the uh, fancy reef ones. I just use a brown filter. I can put a link to that in the uh, description, mainly because I don't run a really heavy blue spectrum. So believe it or not, a brown filter pulls out everything I need. I've just seen an acro that's fallen off down there. The $4 uh, top down to the rescue again. I'm gonna need to pick that acro up. But uh, wow, check out the footage. I do notice the tub does just kind of skew things a little bit. It's obviously not uh, perfectly flat on the bottom, so you do get a little bit of curvature to the image. But um, I think we can all agree for $4, this is a absolute game changer in uh, smartphone photography and videography, um, and also in saving SBS uh, colonies or frags, like I just saw that one on the bottom. It picks up the colors really well, gets rid of that uh, distortion from the water. Obviously, the smoother you hold the phone, the better the picture's gonna be. But again, you can see there what it looks like without the container. So um, what an absolute treasure of a find that was. Actually, just to save me answering a bunch of questions in the comments on uh, phone filters and cases and whatnot, I figured I may as well show you what I use. I personally just have a uh, iPhone 12 and um, you can see here I've got this Ulanzi case which gives you a threaded filter uh, mount for each one of the cameras there. What you then do is you get this filter adapter. This goes from 17 mil to 58 mil or 52 mil, I believe it is. You can screw that on. That then allows you to use So that's now screwed on. It's not clipped on, it's screwed on. So you don't get any light bleeding around the sides there. That then allows you to purchase full size filters like this one. This is a Rise, let's see if I can get it on screen. Rise UK brown 52 mil. So it must be a 52 mil adapter that I use here. You see that cups around that lens perfectly. You can then screw that onto there and you're good to go. Now, like I said, I mostly use the brown filter, but if I go to someone's house that is running an absolutely crazy blue spectrum, this filter has a thread and you can screw another filter onto the filter. So now I've got a brown and a yellow on there. Or I could take the brown off, just run the yellow, or I could change it to an orange, whatever you want. You'll find these filters be very cheap on eBay. They're like maybe three bucks each, or you can buy a pack of them for, um, I think like $15 and you get all sorts of weird and wonderful colors. Also comes with a little uh, lens cap. So if uh, you do happen to chuck it in your pocket and uh, you don't want to scratch the lens, you're good to go. I typically then just unscrew the whole thing. My phone just goes back in my pocket normally. And then when I want to use it, it's only a couple of turns and I'm ready to go. Well, now I'm ready to go. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Personally, for me, that little uh, top-down viewer is an absolute game changer. And for four bucks, I cannot imagine why anyone would not have one in their reefing kit. The little uh, potting cups for your filter sock replacements, while I probably won't use them long-term in place of filter socks, if I do want to run something like a bag of Kemi Pure or some other sort of media that I want to make sure I'm getting water flowing through it, I could not think of a better spot to do it than to pop it in one of those cups and ensure all of the water draining down into the sump then has to pass through there. So for the sake of 65 cents each and uh, some really bad uh, workmanship with some drilling, I think they're absolutely worthwhile having there. Plus, you know, sometimes your filter socks are just a bit cruddy and you want to change things up or you want to run a different type of uh, fleece or something like that. I've got those cups there ready to go and the way they fit in those uh, holders so neatly just makes it a no-brainer for $1.30 for a pair. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap things up there. I hope you enjoyed those little budget reefing tips. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you have not done so yet, please consider subscribing. It costs no money at all. It takes two seconds of your time. I almost said it costs two seconds of your time. I guess it does, but uh, if you could go that far to click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out on this YouTube journey. Till next time, guys, stay safe and keep reefing. Bye.